Welcome back. We want to talk about how we can actually make our app be able to switch screens using iOS and Xcode 15. So we can do that right here, so we can practice with that. So we have our quick demo view we made from our earlier project. We're going to make it so we can actually switch another screen. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make the other screen that we can work with. So I'm going to go right click on View Controller. I'm going to right click on here. I'm going to go to New File. On New File, I want to choose a Swift UI view because I'm making a new view that I'm going to be able to click on and work with. I'm going to hit Next. And this new Swift UI view, I'm going to give it a really creative name of Other View because it describes exactly what it is. And it creates a new view controller right here. I'm going to fix my squigs as my first thing we're doing. And as you can see right here, I'm going to change the text hello world. I'm going to change that right here so it's instead of text, it's the other screen. So you can easily see that this is going to be a different screen. And when my preview is open right here, we'll take a look at that so we can see that I clearly have this other screen right here. There, other screen, wonderful stuff. So you can see it's definitely different. On my original view, my demo view, I'm going to go ahead and add some information to this so I can actually work with that. The first thing we want to do is we want to make it so we can add navigation to this. And so that's going to be working with that vStack. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to control click on the vStack. I'm going to go down here to embed in and use the dot 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 for that. And the dot 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 brings up a container and we'll replace that container with a navigation stack. And then fix the squiggle on that so it looks nice and pretty. And so that navigation stack embedding doesn't do any change to the actual view of it right there, but it makes it so I can use navigation links as part of that. So inside my V stack, my vertical stack of my components I'm working with, I'm gonna make it so I can make a link to go there. And so I use a navigation link to make that happen. So I do a navigation link. My first parameter is, doesn't have a name, so I just give it a set of quotes on there because it takes a string and I'll do click here because it explains what we're doing. My second parameter is named destination, and I do a colon, of course, and I do the name of the uh, screen I want to go to, in this case, other view. And I'm creating a new instance of that, so I just do the open and close parens to call its init to make that happen. And so as you can see right here, I have that click here that shows up on my preview. I click on that, it takes me to other screen. It also has a built-in back button so I can go back to my original screen. The navigation, all that work is handled implicitly by using just the navigation stack. It does all the work to make sure that works. And so I have a navigation link that takes the first parameter is what the text I'm used to link for that. And then the destination is where I send that to. And so as you can see right here, I just send that to the other view. It makes it really easy, works great in preview. If I run this as an actual app, I'm gonna go hit replace on here, run it on my actual simulator. And the same thing will work inside the simulator or devices I'm working with as well. My build is successful. I go to my simulator right here. I have that new click here. Again, I have that back. I can go right back to it. So my navigation works exactly. So again, to make it so I can use navigation, I have to first embed the navigation stack as the first, uh, as the root level. If I don't embed navigation stack, if I comment that out, As you can see right here, I've commented out the navigation stack and its associated squigs to make sure that happens. And look what happens to my link. My link is a grayed out thing. I can't do anything with it. You have to first have your navigation stack. That's the first thing we do. And so I just embed that in my, <clears throat> excuse me, I just embed my vStack in that and then I add the navigation component from there. And that just links to the other view that I have right there so I can clearly see I'm going to the other screen. And it makes um, that automatically be able to go back because it handles all the navigation strictly for you inside Swift. I hope this is helpful. Cheers. See you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.